we are living in a very unique time, right? And um, because of this pandemic, because of the shutdowns, because of the adjustments in our world, yes, it's affecting our school systems. It's affecting our education, our colleges. You know, in this video, we're going to talk about in-person school versus homeschool versus online school. And three things I believe every student needs to have, regardless if they go homeschool, in school, on online school. Hey, welcome to the Cantus Simmons Show. What's going on? Cantus Simmons here and welcome to the Cantus Simmons Show. Now this is uh, my platform to help you succeed in school and succeed in life. And today uh, I want to talk about the three things I believe that every student uh, will need as they transition into the school year. Now, you know, I've had a lot of conversations with parents and some students and principals and professors and listen, Everybody has an opinion, but here's one thing I do know. Everyone wants to be safe. And because we are living in a new time that we've never, ever seen before, you know, we have to make some adjustments. Uh, I had a, a dear friend of mine, actually, you know, a, a church member of mine. Uh, I saw on Instagram that they have completely <laughs> redecorated their dining room and they've turned their dining room into a homeschool. Yeah. Then I have certain parents who are now going back to work, but their son or their daughter, they're going to have to attend online virtual school. And then I have individuals who have decided to send their son or daughter back to school, but they're absolutely concerned. Now, listen, we all have the concerns and the different things that we have to do to stay safe. But I believe there are three things. Yes, three things I want to give you today that I believe is going to help you. Yes, completely help you uh, play your egg game and then make this an amazing, amazing school year. Now, um, in my fashion of being able to support you this school year, hey, I have something called a seven-day study skills challenge. You know, I believe that you or your son or your daughter's study skills can be improved. And I believe this will make... Um, their school year to be absolutely awesome. So if you want to, you can register for my study skills challenge, seven day uh, challenge, just helping people improve their study skills. Uh, you get access over access to that over at cantasimmons.com forward slash study skills. It's actually for $1. You can register for $1. And uh, every single day, I'm going to send a video I'm going to send you an email and give you something to do, to implement, to make this uh, your best school year ever. So if you or know someone that wants that, simply go over to cantasimmons.com forward slash study skills uh, for just one dollar. All right. So let's talk about the three things that I believe every student, uh, whether you're in middle school, high school, college, returning back to student school will need. Whether you're homeschool, whether you're online school, whether you're in-person school, yes, these three things are absolutely needed, I believe, uh, to make this an awesome, awesome school year. All right. Now, before I do that, I want you to say this out loud. I want you to put this in the comments because I believe this. This will be your best school year ever. Now, maybe you're listening to this podcast or maybe you're watching this video. Go ahead and type it. This will be your best school year ever. Go ahead and say it. This will be your best school year ever. Now, how can you say that, Cantus? Well, I believe simply because you're watching and you're partaking in this podcast that uh, you want to know what's going to make this awesome school year. But it all starts with how you think. Go ahead and create the atmosphere. Go ahead and declare this semester, this school year, that this will be the best school year ever. Now, let me give you three things to consider to make this a awesome, awesome school year. Now, here's a lake, right? Here's a picture of a lake. Now, imagine if I was walking down um, 
this lake or walking down the river and um, my cell phone, my iPhone 11 fell into the river. Now, I may be tempted to jump into that river and um, to retrieve my cell phone, but it's just a cell phone, right? It's an iPhone 11. Hey, they have an iPhone 12 out soon. But what if I was walking down the same river and my mother, yes, my mother fell into the river. Now, I've never seen my mom swim. My mama is blessed, what, 72, 73 years old. I've never seen her in a one piece. I've never seen her in a two piece. I'm not really sure if she can swim. But if my mother fell into the water, guess what? Now I have a bigger reason for jumping into the water. Yes, here's the first question I have for you. What's your motivation for jumping into the water? Yes, what's your motivation for going to school? What's your big why? What's moving you to get up day after day, week after week, semester after semester? What's moving you? What's your motive? What's your motivation? You know, the other day I was talking to um, this man who has a, a family business, a print business, and I was getting some things printed out and he was looking at my, my book plan, your A game. And uh, we was talking about school and we was talking about, you know, with everything going on, people can have, people can have a tendency to not to want to go to school, or even go to work. And I said, yeah, you know, that's right. But he says, you know what? If a person understands their purpose, then their purpose can move them and drive them to keep going forward. And that's the question I have for you. Like, what's your purpose for going to school? What's your bigger purpose? What is it that you want to be? What is it that you want to do? What is it that you want to have? What is it about you that's moving you to make this world a better place? And you say, you know what, to make this world a better place, I may need a degree, a certificate, uh, some accreditations, need this diploma to now accomplish that purpose. So question number one, what's your why? All right, here's question number two. And uh, before I give you question number two, uh, you can also screen sh screenshot this, write this down, but it's a motivation creed. There's something that I use and recommend to my mentees to stay focused on the goals at hand. And the motivation creed go goes like this. I want to obtain a degree in blank so that I can help blank accomplish blank. Yes, I want to obtain a degree in blank so that I can help blank accomplish blank. I want you to go ahead and write this and declare this because now it keeps the main thing, the main thing where school is concerned. Your motivation creed, uh, your statement of, um, of your statement that's really just going to keep you focused on what you are going to do. The statement that's going to keep you focused on your goals. All right. So the very first thing is your motivation. I believe if you're going to make this an amazing school year, you're going to have to take the time. Yes. And to focus on your big why. All right. Here's the second thing. What's your momentum? Yes. What's your momentum? Now, let's just keep it real. The last few months, I don't know how many days it's been since we've been in this pandemic, uh, with COVID and Rona showing up and shutting things down, it's changed all of our patterns of life, right? We've all have changed. Maybe there's some good habits that you've developed. Maybe there's some new bad habits that you've developed. But I believe to make this an amazing school year, you're going to have to create some momentum, right? So momentum means going in a certain fashion consistently that's now producing results. Now, sometimes let's think about not having momentum, what that looks like. You may start out going in a certain direction and then you take two steps back. You start going in a certain direction, taking two steps back. All right, I'll make this more personal. I'll let you all in my business, right? So I had this momentum going, right? Working out at the gym every morning at eight o'clock a.m. With, with some of the buddies of mine, right? And um, somewhere along the line, I hurt my ankle. I not only hurt my ankle, but I also moved from one house to another house, right? And um, that now became my excuse for not going to the gym. I hurt my ankle, and I moved a lot further away from my trainer. 
So the six pack and the biceps and the chest and the healthy living that I was uh, going towards, I lost my momentum because I allowed the excuse of the ankle and the moving to set in. Now, if I want to get back to going forward, I have to now start some new habits. Yes, I have to start some new habits. Yeah. And so if you want to look at your momentum, here are some skills that I believe that you're going to have to develop. Now, I talk about this in my study skills challenge, thinking, listening, focusing, note taking, self-managing, studying, reading and researching. Right. If you're going to have an amazing school year, listen, your momentum towards those habits has to start and to continue. Yes, developing the momentum of going to bed at a certain time, developing the momentum of studying, developing the momentum of reading. Now, if you are a parent and you working with a student or a student, uh, you live on your you live on your own. What habits must you start applying? Yeah, what is it that you can start doing now that's going to help you throughout the school year? I believe focusing is a great habit. I believe reading is a great habit. I believe sleeping is a great habit. Getting into bed at a certain time, waking up at a certain time. So if you're going to have a a successful school year, and we talk about this uh, uh, later on in, in the challenge there, but looking at developing momentum, this momentum helps you go towards your goal, right? If your goal is over here, point A, and you're over here, the only way to get to your goal is to by walking it out step by step by step. And as you develop some consistency, guess what? Momentum will push you towards your goal. All right. So that's question number two. What's your momentum? And um, the first one is what's your motivation? All right. So let's look at question number three. All right. To make this an amazing school year, I need you to address this question here. What's your mindset? Yes. What's your mindset? The good book says this. As a man thinks, so shall he be. Yeah. As a man thinks, so shall he be. I say it this way. As a student thinks, so shall he be. As a student continues to think, so shall his grades be. Now, I absolutely realize that your thoughts create certain beliefs. Your beliefs cause certain habits. Your habits lead you to a certain destination. But it starts with how you think. Do you really feel this will be your best school year ever? Are those your thoughts? That's why I said at the beginning of the video, right? This will be your best school year ever. Now, as you get in the habit of saying that, that will now become a a way of thinking. As a man thinks, so shall he be. This would be my best school year ever. You know, if you think you're lazy, guess what? You're probably lazy. I've heard people say, you know, you you act like your old sorry uncle. (laughs) Right? Because everybody knew the sorry uncle was lazy. But what if you say, hmm, I'm an A student. I'm disciplined. I'm responsible. I'm focused. I get the job done. All right? How many times have you prepared for studying for a test and you may say, wow, I'm going to fail this test. All right? You have all this negative belief and doubt and fear there. And then when it's time to take the test, guess what? You fail the test. So question number three, what's your mindset? I like that word mindset. Mindset. Set your mind. And for you to have an amazing school year, whether it's homeschool, whether it's online school, whether it is in-person school, set your mind that this will be your best school year ever. Set your mind that you will play your A game. Set your mind that you will be focused. You will be on the honor roll. Set your mind that you will be disciplined. Set your mind that you are going to enjoy Yes, enjoy this school year, regardless of what happens. You're going to just roll and flow with whatever's going to happen. And you're going to set your mind to have the mindset that it's going to be all right. You know, there are a lot of things that are happening. But I believe if you understand your motivation, your why, 
for doing what you do, if you create the momentum with the right habits and you have the mindset that says, you know what, I'm going to have an awesome year and this will be my best school year ever. Regardless if it's homeschool, online school, or in-person school, my friend, you will succeed. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Again, I want to remind you that I uh, have access to my study skills challenge. Listen, over the next um, week or so here, join into the study skills challenge. Yes, join in the challenge. And this is where you get access to uh, my seven-day challenge. And the beauty of the challenge is that every single day, I'm going to be sending you uh, videos and challenging you on how to improve your study skills. So simply go over to CantusSimmons.com forward slash study skills. Yes, CantusSimmons.com forward slash study skills. And uh, you or your parent, you can register for study skills challenge where we're going to improve your, your student study skills and make this your best school year ever in just seven days. Now, listen, if you've enjoyed this video, listen, be so kind to click the share button. Be so, uh, be so kind to subscribe to this channel, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook or watching this, however you're watching it. Go ahead and subscribe so you get notifications of the next episode of the Cantus Simmons Show. Now, listen, remember this. Only one game in life counts, and that's your A game. Hey, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Now, thank you so much for watching this video. Now, if this video has been beneficial to you, I want you to do three things for me. Number one, I would love for you to like and subscribe to this channel. That way, when I produce new videos and new content, you'll be notified first of the videos that come out. Number two, I want you to think about another student or another parent or educator that could use this video or videos like these and be so kind to share this video with them. And number three, I want you to leave me a comment down below and let me know practically how you can use the content in this video so that you can succeed in school and succeed in life. I'm Cantor Simmons, the coolest guy with 7.25 fingers. And remember this, there's only one game in life that counts and that's your A game. I'll talk to you soon.